viewers welcome back to cybrosis so today i'm here with a topic called quotations so you guys might be familiar with the term quotation as you can see this inside the sales module of odoo 17 so here in the sales basically we are managing all the sales related activities so the first step towards the sale order is a quotation so once a quotation get confirmed only it becomes a sale order so what is a quotation so quotation can be called as an initial step or a first stage towards a sale okay so this is basically a document in which you have the details of the product or even services uh, which can be or which has been provided to the customers by the sellers okay so this is a document between the customer and the seller and once the customer goes through the quotation that is inside the quotation as you all know we have details of the product like the price the quantity and so on so once the customer is satisfied and is with i mean is okay with the uh, you know product details or if he wants that this can be converted into a sale order by confirming the quotation so that's what a quotation is i'll show you how to manage a quotation how to create one and how one quotation con converts into a sale order so come with me let's begin so the first thing which you have to do is you have to go to the sales module and open the sales so i'm opening it and once you open the sales module the first thing which comes right in front of you is the quotations right so here you have all the quotation you can see the status of the quotation then you have the details like the number the creation date the customer website sales person and so on so i'll show you how to create a new quotation so it's very simple what you have to do is you have a new button next to the quotations so go on and click on new there and let's wait okay so here's the form or the page where you create a quotation so the first thing they are asking is the customer name so you have to specify the name of the customer so let it be wood corner and you have the invoice address delivery address and all such things here and you have a thing called quotation template i'll show you what a quotation template is so once you create a template and you use it over here your time can be you know saved so i'll show you how it's done uh, before that let's complete the quotation creation now here you have the expiration date of the quotation you can specify the date you have the recurring plan so if you want this to be you know repeated you can choose a recurring plan it can either be monthly or during six months or weekly or whatever plan it is you can choose it from here then you have the price list as well as the payment terms so you can set a payment term for this uh, quotation so if it's 21 days or 30 days or 45 days or even you have end of following month whatever your payment term is whatever your desired payment term is that can be chosen from here and also you can set up specify i mean a specific uh, price list for this quotations now if you just come below you have certain tabs called order lines optional products other info and notes so here in the order lines you can add product to the quotation so i'm adding a product over here let it be a caustic block screen and the quantity let it be one itself and you have the owner price the discount and the tax excluded price okay and here you can see the grand total which is the tax included price okay so you can add as much products you want and all the details will be here in the quotation that is the order lines now you have the optional product that is if you want to add any kind of optional products to this quotation that can be added from here and then you have the other info where you have the details like the sales the invoicing the delivery and also the tracking so here uh, in the sales you can see details like the sales person the sales team company and even you can enable this online signature and online payment so you can even add tags and customer reference in the sales section then you have the invoicing where you can add fiscal position which is for tax mapping then you have the tracking where in the tracking you can add the source document the opportunity the campaign or the medium and source that is through which this quotation has come and then you have the delivery so here in the delivery you can see the shipping weight and the inco term which is international commercial terms which is used in businesses okay so you can also add the inco term location the shipping policy and the delivery date will be seen this so here you can see the expected delivery date okay so that's the other info and then you have the notes section so if you have any kind of internal notes you can add those notes here in the internal notes section of the quotation so currently you can see the state of the quotation is in quotation state so once you send this quotation to someone what happens is that the state changes from quotation to quotation sent so here you have quotations i'm just going to send by mail let's see what happens so once that's done let's wait for it to get loaded as you know currently it's in the state quotation okay so here comes the mail i'm going to send it to the customer 
So the sending is done. Now what happened is that the state have changed from quotation to quotation sent. Okay. So once you confirm the quotation, what happens is that the quotation will change to a sale order. So I'll show you how it's done as well. Here you have the confirm button, click on that. And then you can see the status have changed to sale order. So that's done. And the next thing is you can even create invoice for the uh, sale order which you have created. So I'm going to create an invoice. So it can be a regular invoice, a down payment or even down payment based on percentage or even a fixed amount. So I'm going to create a regular invoice. Okay, so we'll do down payment, whatever it is, no problem. Create draft. So giving the amount over here. So I've, I've created a down payment, okay? So this is basically how you create a quotation. That is, once your quotation is created, it's in the quotation state. Once it's sent to a customer, it becomes, uh, I mean, it becomes uh, the state quotation sent. And once you confirm the quotation, it becomes a sale order. So after creating a sale order, you can, you know, do the invoice creation and once the invoice is created you can create or register payment for the invoice so here's the down payment thing which i created now i'm going to confirm it so currently i'm not i'm only paying 25 percentage of the total amount and then you have the register payment over here so it's in posted state you can simply create payment from here okay so you can see it's in payment state so this is basically how you create a quotation and how uh, an invoice is created for the quotation. Now we were talking about this quotation template. I'll show you what a quotation template is. Here in the configuration, you have this quotation template under the sale orders. Click on that. And you can see the previously created quotations here. So you have this large meeting table, meeting room, monthly, yearly, or I mean, all of them are the different quotation templates which are pre-created. Let's create a new one. Click on new. So I'll give the name as a new quotation template or something like that. So let's wait for it to get loaded. So once you create a quotation template, what happens is that this quotation template can use the inside a quotation. So it saves your time. Uh, how means if you use that quotation template, which you create, all the details will be pre, you know, populated. So once you choose the quotation template, what happens is that order lines and all will come based on the template which you've chosen. So inside the template, we are already setting all these order lines, the products and all. So those things will be taken there. So I'm not confusing you guys. Let's see how it works. So here I'm giving the name as new and the validity of the quotation, I'm giving it as one day or oh, simply 10 days. The confirmation mail, so what mail should be sent? Uh, send quotation, whatever it is. And then you have the company, the invoice journal, online signature, online payment, recurring plan. And here comes the most important part, which is the lines. So the product which you give here will be taken in the quotation where we use this quotation template. So I'm going to add the product over here. Um, let's wait. Let's add one or two products. That's enough. So the product is whiteboard pen. Let it be the first product. And the second product. Let it be customizable desk. So I've added two products here which is whiteboard pen and customizable desk. So that's done, I'm saving it, okay? So the saving is taking place, okay. Now let's go to orders, quotations, and from there, let's create a new quotation. So here's the quotation, I'm adding the customer here. Let's add a random customer. Then you have the order lines, no, sorry, before going to the order lines, what you have to do is here you have the quotation template where you can see the quotation template which you have created, which is new. Click on the new over there and you can see the order line is auto populated. So here comes whiteboard pen and customizable desk, which were the products which we gave in the quotation template, which we created right now. So this is basically how you create a quotation and how you create a quotation template. Now we talked about the quotation layout and all in a previous video, so you can refer to it. So this is the simplest way of creating a quotation and a quotation template. So that's all. So that's how you can easily manage the quotations in the sales module of Odoo 17. I hope it's clear for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.